Okay. Um, so that is, yeah, that is an interesting perspective from teacher to AP to principal to district administrator. Now, one thing that I did want to ask you was I get a lot of um, different perspectives from administrators and principals on how much use is acceptable in their, in their school or in their district, because there's so many different programs out there. And if the teacher isn't really using it, you know, it's, it's hard to justify in a budget. What, what's your threshold? Do you, as a district, do you, you know, does Chatham look at, okay, here's how much kind of we expect or hope our teachers will use a supplementary or intervention program? Are there kind of protocols for that or not really? Um, there is. Um, we um, use, at this point, lyrics to learn in our core curriculum. Okay. And so our teachers use it um, in small groups. They use this independent um, center activities. They use it as um, part of their mini lesson. And so, um, so they use it in lots of different ways. And I normally say for small group work, especially in elementary, lower elementary, like K2, like 15, 20 minutes yeah. um, a day. Um, and then we are on a hybrid schedule now where kids are coming um, to school two days a week um, in different cohorts. And so time is even more precious, right? It's always right. precious, instructional time, but yeah. it's even more precious. And so if teachers are able to get 10 minutes in in a real purposeful way, um, I think that's really, really important. So 10 to 20 minutes. Um, and then um, previously in our district, we've used it as a, two, a tier two um, intervention with the reading specialist. Um, but this year we decided, hey, let's, there are so many learning gaps, um, let's use Lyrics to Learn as part of our core. Um, and so it's been great to be able to hone in on vocabulary, figurative language, point of view, all right. those things that Lyrics to Learn kind of has there for teachers. And so, yeah. and, and it's so engaging for kids. <laughs> That's good. That's great, actually. The one thing I noticed, it seems like after the webinar, and they were only, you know, half hour webinars, 40 minutes, I guess, the second one especially, but it seemed like teacher kind of buying and engagement increased quite a bit. I think, I think we went from about 30% of your teachers completing lessons to 50% within a month. Um, do you have any feedback or thoughts on the implementation, kind of the rollout so far, so far? Uh, things that have gone well, things that you hope that will do? Uh, any feedback for me? Yeah, I mean, I think it was important to um, have just one or two kind of high flyers, if you will, at, at our schools. Yeah. Um, and so where folks could then feel really comfortable if they had questions. Um, and then I think just the ease of the program too um, helped teachers feel like, hey, even during a pandemic, um, I've added so many things. This is easy and it's, it's one more thing, but it's helpful. Um, it's helpful to get kids um, on, but it's also um, the platform is, is really friendly. So I think teachers felt like, hey, this is not overwhelming. This is not cumbersome. Um, but yeah, I think the rollout kind of front loading teachers with information, giving them opportunity to um, kind of experience the platform and then give them the training, I think that was helpful yeah. as yeah. opposed to giving them the training and say, hey, go and log on now. Right. Um, so yeah. they had some time to play in it and then bring their questions and then hear how other people are using it um, in small group and whole group. Um, so I think that was really helpful. That's good. I wonder um, maybe what we can do, you're just giving me ideas for other districts too that, you know, kind of the teacher buy-in prior to a prior to a webinar, especially if we can have four or five teachers in each school, it sounds like that was pretty key. So I'll keep, that's great feedback. I'll keep that in mind here as we move on. And I think that that was important for our summer camp too. So we didn't have to, we mandate things because we know we are working with sometimes our most fragile readers who are on the cusp of just really taking off. Yeah. And so for our summer programming, um, we require, we have normally it's 72 hours, normally it's two to three weeks of uh, really intense instruction. And we require our teachers to follow a pretty scripted, scripted curriculum. Um, and so, and of course, Lyrics to Learn is part of that. But we had two or three kind of rock star curriculum coaches who said, hey, this is great. Let me show it to you. Sign up for a free account, yeah. um, play with it for a week or so. And then we were able to do training and the teachers automatically had buy-in. 
So it wasn't something we had to like twist their arm to use. They automatically had to buy in because they saw the program. And so that was, that was really helpful. Okay, perfect. Good. Well, that's, yeah, that's about all I really have. I, I don't have any other questions. Um, obviously I'll email you if we do, but I appreciate the open communication and just your willingness to, you know, talk candidly with me. It, it's valuable. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks, Jeremy. And thank you for being so quick um, in scheduling the PD. And, and that was great. And getting those questions um, answered for, that the teachers had, I think that's really helpful um, that they feel like, hey, if I have a question about data, or if I have a question about, um, you know, any components that, you know, you're there and you're accessible. So I appreciate that. Yeah, well, being a teacher prior to, um, you know, beginning lyrics to learn or something like this certainly gives me a good perspective of I, I know what it's like in the classroom. So anything we can do. Awesome. Awesome. All right. Have a have a good good rest of your week. Stay safe. Yeah, thank you. You too. And enjoy the snow. We uh, you, yeah. we have to travel here for snow. Like you have to intentionally go because we're right in the center of North Carolina. So we want snow. We have to drive to the mountains. And so I'm um, enjoying it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. All about perspective. We will. Yeah. It is beautiful out here. So we'll yeah. have some fun. All right, Chris. All right. It's easy. Thank you. Take care.